Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will explore the applications of crop 3 AI in remote sensing and GIS, which Elon Musk alleged that it is the smartest AI we've ever seen. Let's find out how we can utilize this innovative tool for data analysis. Okay, in general, my goal is to download the DM of various cities in the Google Earth engine without coding. Let's say I'm a beginner and I can't code, so I use the crop 3 to download the DM in the Google Earth engine. With that in mind, let's dive into it. First of all, I have to go to grok.com. I attach this link in the description, you can simply click on it. After entering the website, you'll see the chatbot page, where you can ask your questions in multiple languages. The same as DeepSeek, there are two options that you can enable. Deep Search and Think, which can help with more complex problems and more logical results. On the other side, make sure that you're using the Grok3, which is newer than Grok2. Now, let me ask the question. My question is, write a Google Earth Engine script to display the DM of Istanbul and export it as TIFF file to Google Drive. Then hit the enter on your keyboard or click up row on the right lower side. As you can see, you can access the Google Earth Engine code right away without coding skills. However, knowing a little about coding will help you a lot. It also provides a good explanation of the generated code at the end. In other words, it explains the generated code in words and says what the generated code does in Earth Engine, how to use the code and some notes to run the code. So, I copy the code and go to the Earth Engine, then paste it. Make sure that you paste it in a blank page and not having an open project. Then simply click the run button. And done! As you can see, the DM layer of the city of Istanbul was displayed. Now, if I want to export the output to the Google Drive, I refer to the task section and hit the run. In the open window, confirm the info and click run. It typically takes some time to upload it to Google Drive. You need to wait a few minutes. Let's return to the Grok again. This time I want to change the location to another city. So I copy my script and paste it to the chatbot. Then I change the location. For example, I replace Tehran with Istanbul and press enter. Let me check the previous output. It's still working on it. Okay, as you can see, it generated some code, but this time for another city. You can save the code with a name and use it later. This way you'll access the code immediately. You can also get a link and share it with your friends so they can easily use it. Okay, our layer has been saved. Now let's go to the Google Drive. It was exported here, and now I download it. And open the QGIS. You can use any other software you want. I import the layer. Let me add the Google satellite image. As you can see, the layer has been downloaded correctly with the appropriate coordinate system. To improve visualization, you can change the layer symbology. To do so, from the properties section, select symbology.
and use various color combinations. I randomly use this color ramp. Just like that. Let's get back to the written code for the city of Tehran and copy it. In the script section, create a new file under the new option. Assign a new name for the file and click OK. After creating, open it. Then paste the code and click Run. As simple as that. The DM was generated. Let's upload the layer to Google Drive. Pay attention that all the written codes contain complete explanations. So with Quag explanations and knowing a little about coding, you can understand the purpose of each part of the code. And by any chance, if you're interested in coding, especially the Earth Engine coding, this way you can learn better for writing other codes. Let's go to the Google Drive and download the desired layer. Then import it to the software. Here you can see the DM layer has been downloaded correctly. You can choose different color combinations to display the layer better. We can also display the value of each pixel in the layer. The blue areas have lower elevation and the yellow and red areas have higher elevation. So, using the same way, you can get any code you want and get its output in no time. If you have any questions, feel free and ask in the comments.